question is, uh, there is an issue on the North Carolina ballot this year dealing with defense of marriage. Where do you stand on this issue? Well, I, uh, me personally, I got two feelings. I, first, I believe that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. And the second part of that is that I believe that the majority uh, imposes their will on the minority. I think that, uh, well, I know that back when we, as blacks and whites, could not marry one another, the majority voted for that. And the minority didn't have a say so in it. I know that when we had different school systems, the majority voted for that, and the minority had no say so in it. So now it comes to me to ask me to make that decision as a majority who believes between a marriage between a man and a woman. I don't know what the future holds for these people in the future. So it's going to be a very difficult issue. And I have not, as yet, come to a decision on how I'm going to go on this matter. Because I believe it's the moral values here and I believe it's the constitutional values there that we all should have also. So again, I'm still in the middle of the road right now. I, uh, it's an issue. And if you don't think it's a moral value issue, and you don't think it's one that has no effect to people from now on, then I think you're wrong if you have taken one side or the other now. But again, I'm in church every Sunday. So I know where I'm at on that. So again, thank you for that. Question. This was a very heated, debated discussion and while we were in session, of course. Uh, they, the proposal was to have it in uh, November, and they ended up happening in May. But ever since I've been in the General Assembly, you know, I believe in marriage between a man and a woman. I believe in the Bible, a church going versa. And you know, since um, it's come out in the paper more commonly. Some of the things that, that I'm finding out is from like individuals that um, have children out of wedlock. Um, I'm finding some things out, and I'm like, Ed, you know, there's a lot of soul searching done. But you know, I, I believe that God created out of need for companionship and for reproduction. And it's something that I'm going to do. I have to do a whole lot of soul searching when I go behind there to live. That's my privilege tomorrow. I think it's something that's very important. One of the big things that we felt like, or I personally felt like was, that you know, North Carolina already recognizes the marriage between a man and a woman. They do not recognize you know, same-sex marriages. They do not have divorces in same-sex marriages here in North Carolina. I don't think it needs to be on the Constitution in North Carolina, but that's a personal opinion. But I believe that people will speak, and however it comes down, is how it comes down. Again, you know, it's a moral issue, and, I, and, and I'll make that decision I go out and battle Thank you. Um, I put an ad in the paper this week on this issue. It's called The Odd Couple. Uh, many of you remember, with fondness, possibly, uh, Felix Unger and Oscar Madison. The odd couple, they were both married and the marriages broke up and they had an apartment. Uh, they, and I'm pretending uh, that they have discontinued to have, have this arrangement for about 25 or 30 years and pretending they live in Illinois, which has just passed the civil union law. So they decide to have a civil union because Felix says to Oscar, if you go to the hospital, and, and, and I want to see you, I won't be able to go to your room, even though we've lived together for 30 years. I care about you, you care about me. We have basically now sol solemnified this loving relationship we have. Now, whether they're gay, who knows whether they're gay, and who has the right to ask? We're saying no male 
can enter into a domestic union of any kind with another male or female. We don't know whether they're gay, whether they're lesbian, but the law doesn't say, and they don't want to say. They don't want to say, but it's against the sexuality. But I could certainly imagine people who are friends, they want to be close together, they want to commit. Uh, one of them, Felix, wants to stay home and cook, and Oscar wants to go out and work in the newspaper, uh, the sports. Uh, and so what's wrong with that? Uh, we have no right, we've got to make a distinction between moral, our moral views, and our, our right to dictate to other people what they have the right to do. We're, we're talking about a status. This law is this is, the law is preventing them from achieving a status that other people can have. In fact, under our current law, a lesbian can marry a homosexual. They're male and female, but they can do that. But two, two straight guys cannot. That doesn't make any sense. Well, I'd like to just say that I agree more with Mr. Sharon. And Mr. Sharon uh, he's expressed uh, my opinion in this matter. I don't think that we need to be sneaking and peeping in anybody's bedroom as to what kind of sexual orientation they have and all of that. I think that this bill, uh, this uh, constitutional amendment, is more about hate and division than it is about trying to bring people together or trying to live together in harmony in this world. So I, I just believe, I have my, my uh, religious beliefs, but I don't think that I need to impose them on anybody. I don't need to try to force anybody to believe what I believe. I think that the thing to do is to defeat this amendment and not put this in the United States and North Carolina Constitution and let's just move on. We have a lot of other things to deal with. We have lots of moral questions here. We have questions about desegregating our county here with the school system. We have lots of questions about how we're mistreating children here by depriving them of proper funding for education. These are some of the moral issues that we need to be concerned with, need to be trying to do something about. We need to be doing something about that horrible stand your ground law that was imposed on the people of North Carolina that was, a, that was introduced by Mr. Ray. See, that's what we need to be working on. These are the questions of the day. And this is where we, where, what we need to be doing this day. Thank you. <laughs>